Good morning, YouTube. It is now 4 a.m. where I'm at, and I want to talk to you today about Proverbs 15. We're going to continue to do my book review of Proverbs 15, of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. And I'm going to give you some lessons that I, that I learned, and hopefully we can learn together in the Bradley's new book called The Hard Way. Bradley is on social media. You can look him up. He's got a podcast on YouTube, a show on YouTube called Dropping Bombs. So let's check it out. So without further ado, I'm just going to say a, a silent prayer for Proverbs 15. And we're going to go on, the, we're gonna go on do Proverbs 15 first. And then we're going to talk about the book, The Hard Way. Now, let me let me just start it with this. I'm, this is not preaching. I'm not trying to preach at you. I'm just another traveler sharing my my own journey with you. Okay, so this is not about me trying to tell you what you need to know and all this other crap. N none of that. Okay, I'm I'm definitely not perfect. I got huge mistakes, but I think if we if we read this together, there's something we can learn. All right, here we go. Proverbs 15. Verse 12, workers hate to be corrected. Okay, so I'm going to read it. What does Proverbs 15 verse 12 say? Well, let's, let's start, share, let's start with my moment of silence. Okay, there we go. Mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. Proverbs 15 verse 12. Mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the from the wise. You ever have people to where, like, in your presence, they just leave? Why? Because they know you carry an energy. There's like, you're not going to sit there and, and, and tolerate their bad behavior because you're a man of integrity. Be a man of integrity and, and keep those promises you make to yourself. When you do that, you begin to have your own self-worth. And, and self-confidence comes from within. Proverbs 15, verse, uh, verse 14, we just talked about that. Proverbs 15, verse 14. A wise person is hungry for knowledge while the fool feeds on trash. A wise person is hungry for knowledge while the fool will feed on trash. What are you feeding in your mind? What goes into your mind? Is it trash? Or are you feeding yourself good things? It's so important. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, I listen to something positive. You cannot, you cannot go and expect to feed on trash. And if you're watching porn every day, if you're looking at negative things all the time, the news, you're not, you're going to come out smelling. So you're gonna lie, you lie, you lie down with dogs. You're gonna wake up with fleas. All right, next one. Here's Proverbs 15 verse 16. Better to have little with fear of the Lord than to have great treasure with with uh, inner turmoil. Okay, I'm gonna give you a different translation. It says better to have little better to have little righteously than than abundance wickedly. I'll read it again. Better to have little righteously than abundance wickedly. So, you know, like you can get rich quickly, sell drugs, you'll be rich quickly. But is it going to last? Can you have generational wealth? Are your kids going to be like, oh, wow, we've got all this money now because my great grandpa sold drugs? Nah. It's better to, to, to do it the hard way. Take the hard road. Because if you do that, your money, anybody can make money, but it takes a wise man to keep money and to keep generational wealth. So it's better to have abundance righteously than having a lot of, than abundance wickedly. All right, next one. Uh, 15 verse 19. 15 verse 19 is a, a lazy person's way is blocked with with bri briars but the path of the upright is open highway so 
You can't expect to be successful if you're lazy. Lazy person, it, his way is blocked. If you want to be lazy, you're not going to be rich. You're not going to be successful. But if you're righteous and you do it the hard way and you, you're a man of integrity, you keep your word, you say, do what you say you're going to do, those are all things that are going to help you be successful in life. So it's very important to have to, to be a man of honor, okay? To do what you say you're going to do, all right? And follow through with your commitments in business and in life. But it starts, again, leadership starts with how you lead yourself. Proverbs 15, verse 22. 15 verse 22 plans go wrong for lack of advice many advisors bring success i'm going to give you a different version plans go wrong for lack of light uh, oh, okay same thing plans go wrong for lack of advice many advisors bring success see i wrote these down here so i'm reading off my ipad it, it was it took me like 30 days to do this so what does that mean when plans go wrong for lack of advice? That means you're not listening, all right? If you, if you want to be successful, you have to have confidence. And in order to have confidence, you got to be able to be humble. See, confidence is earned. Arrogance is not earned. So when you're arrogant, you're not willing to listen to other people. You're not willing to have advice, not willing to take advice. You always, always have to be willing to, to be open for advice and counsel because you don't know everything. And the most successful people surround themselves with, with, with advisors. So they were, they were interviewing Henry Ford and they asked them, they said, hey, when they when I put him on the on the courtroom stand, it was something I don't know what they were where they were talking about him. He was on the stand for something, and they asked him. They said, "Oh, what is uh, this part for your car?" He goes, "I don't know." I says, "I have no idea what it is." I says, "I have a button in my office." He said, "When I don't know something, I push my button, and someone comes in who's a subject matter expert, and I ask them all about it. Hire the right people. Hire the right people." So that's something that you might not want to consider is if you want to if you want to have confidence, it's earned. Arrogance is not earned. It's it's and there's 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 strength in humility. If you're able to humble yourself, there's strength in asking for help and saying, I can't do it alone. Again, we go back to that verse. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. You have to be, be able to listen to advice. Many advisors bring success. The right people, the right people. Don't go listen to everybody. Be be able to be as leader as a leader. You got to be decisive, but be able to listen to the right people. All right, Proverbs thirty, Proverbs fifteen, verse thirty one. If you listen to constructive criticism, you'll be at home among the wise. If you listen to listen to what it says, constructive criticism. You will be at home among the wise. So you have to be able to say who is giving you the, the criticism and is it constructive or is it destructive? Sometimes even in, in destructive criticism, you can you can eat the meat and spit out the bones, usually from your boss, because they're going to tell you the truth. So they're not going to they're not going to push back. All right. So let's transition. So that's Proverbs 15. All right. Now we're going to go into. The Hard Way by Brad Lee. So he talks about preparation. When you're 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 going and, and I think I talked about this one this one already already in my previous video. So we'll just go we'll just move past that. Don't be don't be afraid now the hard way with Bradley. Some of the quotes I learned as he said, don't be afraid to to act. A lot of people don't act because of low self-esteem. They're afraid to talk to that prospect. They're afraid to um, ask someone for their number. They're afraid to ask that girl out on a date because they have that low self-confidence. Why do they have so low self-confidence? Because they haven't kept, kept the commitments they made to themselves. If you keep the promises you made to yourself, your confidence is going to be boosted. 
Okay, if you're working out on a regular basis, your confidence is going to be boosted. If you do what you say you're going to do, your self-confidence is going to be boosted. So, yeah, you can't control if somebody rejects you, but you can control the fact that you made the attempt. And you say, look, well, at least I made the attempt and I, and I gave it a shot. Sometimes you can read body language. If somebody's not interested, you, you know, you can, you can do that. But I always, I always take the shot. I, I'd rather try and fail than never try at all. So you have to ask yourself, another, another thing you, ask, you can ask yourself, <clears throat> before you talk to anybody, if you're thinking about going, this, this whole book is about, the Bradley is about sales. You ask, before you talk to somebody, you want to you wanna know what you're going to say before you say it. You don't want to sit there and talk to them and stumble. So you think about that before you open your mouth. And you always stay ready to say, okay, I, I'm planning on what I'm going to say. And then I'm going to ask them a question. Because people like to talk about themselves. So when you introduce yourself to someone, you introduce yourself in the beginning initially. But then ask ask about them that's part of preparation preparation begins as soon as you get up and you're ready to make that act you're acting out on okay i'm going to go talk to this person or i'm going to ask for the sale or i'm going to ask for this. these are all things you do you you prepare before you even speak and in one way or another you're in sales so you might as well get good at it this is why i picked up this book all right Again, transition to the next the next uh, notes that I got here. Success is success is contingent upon how well prepared you are. So remember that. That's it. That's all I got for today. I don't want to keep this too long, but I hope this has helped you. Remember, always be prepared. Always be ready when you talk to somebody. Have like some kind of like solution or result of this conversation what is the result of this conversation am i trying to get this girl's number to ask her out on a date okay am i trying to solicit my business okay always say okay i'm going to have some kind of solution as a result of this but be open remember the focus is on and this is one thing that i really enjoyed in this book is you want to build that relationship okay because because people do business with people that they they have they know uh, rich people, they, they network with other rich people. They do relation. It's all about building that relationship. Then once you build that relationship, then you go for the sale. Because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I, I've heard that all along. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching.